Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video, and today is going to be a little rant sesh, and that rant is going to be about the three new modes that they added to this chapter, Rocket Racing, LEGO Fortnite, and Festival Main Stage. And the reason I want to rant about them is because nothing has been done with them in the, the slightest. These are supposed to be new modes to Fortnite, things that they're going to add, and they're going to be a core staple of this game, right? Because think about it. They're in the battle pass, right? Everything's having new Lego styles. They have the damn cars for one billion ass dollars. And then they have the music packs and fucking guitar gear for you for you to buy. So obviously these are gonna be staples. No way they're gonna lay like leave these out to just never be a thing, right? They're not gonna just take them away eventually and be like all your money is now gone to the drain. No, they're not gonna do that. They're going to keep these as main staples as the game and maybe even add more in the future. Who knows what they can do, right? So you think with them trying to add these new things, they would be updating them in the slightest. Just a little, little by little, maybe. Maybe not some big boom bombshell, but just something to keep players interested in these new modes. Then just reverting back to Battle Royale and leaving these in the dust. But they haven't. Think about it. Rocket Racing. Let's go through all these, right? Rocket Racing nothing at all right like i don't even know what they could add to rocket racing because it's a very standardized racing game go a all three laps you win you lose fuck you it's ranked competitive nice right like that's all it is they could they could add new maps right they could do that or they can keep adding new cars to the shop and fucking force you at gunpoint to buy them because they just they just have them in the main shop and they just keep showing them to you over and over and over to you and they cost so much for no fucking reason oh it, it's fine right like it's fine right okay so rocket racing nothing if you like the repetitiveness maybe you do actually play this maybe you are the 20.1k that actually play this and if you are good on you i i don't know i personally i could never do it i hate rep i hate repetitiveness so repetitive right it is so so repetitive and that also goes with lego fortnite lego fortnite is probably the popular one and it makes sense it's a carbon copy of minecraft right let's not even let's not put the blindfold over our eyes it is just minecraft and for me it was fun for a week and then after that i got boring because there's nothing new lego fortnite has not also added anything new but this is the one that probably benefits it from the most if you add new stuff new things to craft new things to look for new places to find new places to do anything in you'll keep bringing in that Lego Fortnite audience. And that's also kind of happened with Minecraft, if you put it in that way, at least for me. Minecraft is a game that you mod, you don't play. This, you cannot mod, so I don't want to play. Even then, I don't like mods in general, so I kind of just like looking at the staple game itself. And Lego Fortnite, I think I've done everything in. So playing at this point is just a waste of my time. XP eventually stops, like most creative XP. So there's literally no reason to play this. The only one that I find the funnest and I can keep coming back to is Festival. And that's because they do at least add new music, right? They haven't been super consistent on it, but now they're planning to do it every Thursday with at least two songs. And you know what? Their two songs is not a lot, but it definitely adds more than whatever else everything else is doing. Now, they also let you play these songs by just having everyday rotations. That's super cool, too. It allows people who don't want to pay the money to buy these songs, obviously, and just use the music that's there. And I find it personally very fun. I definitely think if I didn't want to buy them, which I do buy them, it's, you know, I do like the music. And they do add a lot more to the game than just being just for the songs. I find it really fun. And again, these also have other benefits. Like you get to use them as emotes. In the game which i find personally very funny you know i like hitting a little bit of a weezer when knocking somebody it's fun it's funny the only thing i don't like about festival is the absurd prices for also their music stuff where is it here you go a thousand for a guitar a guitar are you kidding me the, the bass the drums come on it's so much and i already complained about that so we won't go into it but this is the only thing that they've been adding and it's not even like something new right like it's just new songs no new modes or anything and there have been leaks like i've seen so many things just people saying oh fortnite festival is gonna add dueling soon oh fortnite lego has new cannons coming out oh new rarities coming out and i heard i think i heard that last month where are they they're nowhere near they're nowhere near and i don't know why i don't know what's the benefit in holding off on an update for titles so well 
I can't even play LEGO Fortnite. I don't even know if I said that. I can't even play it. My controller keybinds, I've switched. And at least for me as a controller player, when I switch, when I switched to like Builder Pro or something like that, and then went back to my custom buttons, my custom buttons, gone. They switch all to Builder Pro. So I'm never switching back to Builder Pro. And you can't play LEGO Fortnite unless you have Builder Pro because the buttons are not meant to be switched. And it's so stupid. I can't even play the game. Rocket Racing, I find too boring. Festival, it hits a nice medium. It's just, it can get that repetitiveness, but I like that repetitiveness for beat games. I, I don't know, that's, that's more of a personal thing. So where does that end up? We end up back at Battle Royale. And that's why you've seen so many of a player drop here. It's because there's nothing new. Fortnite added the staple to most online games that you have to update these games within two weeks, a week, add something new to it. If you don't, everybody gets bored, goes away, find something new. Fortnite basically added that staple. I never seen any more brain rot for, you know, keeping attention to your game than Fortnite was in its peak. And now they have slowly drifted away from that medium on how fast they can release it. And especially with these new modes, it's going to end up like another Save the World, right? Save the World was a mode that was, you know, the prime thing. And then Battle Royale took over. They switched all of their gear to Battle Royale. Save the world got left in the dust. And you already see it now. People wanted more from Save the World. And eventually they just said, we're putting the kibosh on it. We're stopping. This is Save the World now. If you like it, you should keep playing it. If you don't, well, screw you. They're never adding anything new ever again. Obviously, that's more of like an extreme. They do add a couple new things. And that's exactly where I think these three modes are going to be. They're going to be another Save the World where they just kind of add stuff in, but they never market it. They never try to make it this big thing. They leave it there for the people who did play it beforehand just to dabble in it. And then everybody else that's coming to Fortnite is just marketed straight to Battle Royale. And if they keep adding new game modes as festival, like these main, like, like here game modes, like they're staying here forever type game modes. How are they going to even update that then? Because they're going to have to take away something here to put their attention to the other thing so i don't right now it doesn't look hopeful for these games these all of these don't look hopeful the only one that's probably going to stay here is battle royale because that's obviously their big bread and butter that's what everything is linked to in the slightest you can use these in battle royale you can use those in battle royale you can use the cars in battle royale the skins obviously the everything right everything's based by battle royale but these other modes I don't know. If I had to be honest here, if they keep adding more, Rocket Racing is going first on the chopping block. I'm sorry. They're not going to pay attention to this game anymore. So if you do play Rocket Racing, maybe stay on the fence, you know, stay on the fence. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about it. You know, it's sad seeing it because I did enjoy it, right? I like Lego Fortnite. Racing games are just not my favorite. And I do like festival. I like type of beat games. I like learning new songs and trying to get 100% on it. And I like seeing all the memes on it with Bad Romance and stuff. It's super fun. But eventually, Bad Romance just becomes a bad song because I heard it too many times. Lego Fortnite, again, was fun. But eventually, I did everything. What am I supposed to do now? I'm not going to start another one just to do the same thing over again and again and again. But maybe that's just for me. So you tell me. Do you think these modes right now are perfectly fine where they are and don't need constant updates to survive this massive landscape of, you know, crazy shit that they put out. I bet you could probably find something that's a little higher than maybe Rocket Racing. And if you do think they do need updates, what would you personally add to these modes to maybe gain a little bit more hype around them or just to make them a lot more fun and have a lot more longevity in these modes? Because again, right now, they really don't have any standing point comparatively to anything else so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one peace